Welcome back to the lecture series on introduction to AWS. As part of today's les, uh, session, we will be looking at IAM components. So, what are uh, what we are going to cover in IAM components are we are going to cover users, we are going to cover users, groups, and uh, roles. These are the three topics which we are going to cover as part of IAM components. And one more component which is there that is policy that we are going to cover in our latter session. Uh, so, over here what we are going to see is on all these topics we are going to have hands on session. Prior to that we will uh, get to know what is going to be uh, the necessity of this particular things. So, the first demo is on create an IAM user group. What does it mean? Think suppose if you are working on in an organization, and this organization has an account on AWS, and that account is treated as the root user, root account, which has all the permissions or privileges to carry out uh, various uh, services. They can have uh, access to all the services, but even and then they cannot uh, uh, provide this particular account to all the users. So, what they are going to do is uh, for a bunch of users, they may allocate certain policies such as uh, they may provide uh, full access permission or else they may provide read only access permission. These are the only two permissions which they can provide to a group of users, group of users. Uh, this is what we are going to look at as part of our today's practical. All these access permissions just like uh, EC2 full access or else S3 read only access or DynamoDB full access, whatever permissions which are grouped into one particular category and whomever whichever user is being assigned with this group or whomever user is being attached to this particular group will get all these privileges. Instead of giving one by one a policy to a particular user, they can group certain policies into a particular group and they can attach to the users. So, let us have a hands on session, right. So, first thing in order to create a IAM user group, what I will be doing is I will be searching for IAM. Just click on IAM towards the right left uh, panel, you will be having this particular user groups. You need to click on user groups and uh, just click on create group, name the group. I will be naming it as training as they are new to the organization and I will be attaching the policies over here. Just like EC2 full access permission this one and for S3 I will give read only access permission for DynamoDB full access permission. So, just after giving the permissions just click on create user group. So, trainee is a group which has all these three permissions. 
you can click on permissions all this three dynamo db full access ec2 full access and s3 read only now uh, let us create a user the second demo as part of our uh, lecture series this is how to create a user group demo 2 is creating a new user who can log in to aws account let us create a user right now by clicking on users you can click on create user name the user as uh, something alex select uh, provide user access through a aws management console i want to create an iam user provide a custom password for that particular user and uh, if you require that user when he is logging into first time then he can change his password uh, you can have a checkbox for time being i am unselecting this clicking on next now we do have uh, a group and we do have attach policy directly it is your choice if you want to add this particular user to a group or you can attach policies directly uh, for time being I will be attaching uh, the policies to this particular user where I will be attaching certain policy such as uh, EC2 read only access EC2 read only access policy to this particular user click on next only one particular policy I had added over here permission that is he can read only the EC2 which other persons are going to be creating. In order to access this IAM user you need to use this particular link. Now your uh, admin will be sharing you this particular link through this link he can log in into his account and alex is a user and password which we had set to the alex i'll be copying this particular uh, link getting into a cognitive window just pasting that particular link and hitting enter Now over here I need to provide the username and password and this IAM user is belonging to this account ID as my account has certain ID you can observe over here this is my account ID I had created from this ID so this ID is been allocated to the IAM user. Uh, Alex is the name of the IAM user and password hit sign in. Now, Alex is an IAM user who is allowed only to read the EC2s, but he cannot launch an EC2. This is how he is being restricted. Done, done. Now, just uh, click on EC2 over here I will be clicking on EC2 service as Alex has only read only access permissions when he is going to click on launch instance he has to be restricted such as uh, EC2 instance I want to create demo launch instance. So, you can see when he is trying to launch the instance the error message says that you are not authorized to perform this operation. Can you please contact with your admin 
who has given this IAM policy. This is how a user will be restricted from having an uh, non-authorized access. If I want to change the, uh, if I want to change this, I can add this particular user. I can change the policy such as I will be opening this Alex and I want to add him to the group and I will be clicking on add user to groups where I do have trainee and click on add user to group. Now what happens? Alex has the permission whatever the group has such as previously he has only read access permission. Now all the other three permissions has been assigned to the user as Alex has been uh, uh, moved to the group uh, training where he can create an EC2 instance. When you will refresh this page. and uh, create the same thing, I mm, will create a new this thing demo 1, 2, 3, 4, save, launch the instance. This time he will not be restricted, this time he will be allowed. You can see the message that he Alex is a user who can successfully uh, initiate the launch of an instance. This is how a group will be working and how to create an IAM user. Now the third part coming to our uh, demo is how to create a role. So, basically what is a role that we need to uh, get to the essence. So, a role is something which can be given between an EC2 instance or else uh, a service and a service. Just like if this is an AWS account we can have more than 200 various services where if I am uh, recently we had launched an EC2 instance. It is a particular service which has been launched. Now this service by default it cannot communicate with other services uh, for suppose say as S3 or DynamoDB or something else. By default EC2 cannot communicate with S3 or EC2 cannot communicate with DynamoDB. This is not possible. So what is our plan is now whoever is a user who is accessing our EC2 can back up their data in S3 or can back up their data in DynamoDB. In order to have that access privileges what we have to do is we have to create a role. A role is something which is going to be having a providing, uh, we are providing an access between a service and a service of AWS. Between two services, we will be creating the role. So, let us have a demo on this. So, what we will do is to have a demo on this role, we will uh, go to our uh, main account itself, we will click on launch instance, we will again launch an instance name this as uh, role demo, select any one operating system, select the key pair, I am selecting it as I uh, will be creating a key pair over here just like uh, demo role, I am creating a key pair and remaining I, I will be leaving it as by default clicking on launch instance. Now your instance has got launched, just go back to EC2 instances, 
it is been in pending state as soon as the state changes will get connected to our EC2 instance. Yeah, now connect to your EC2 instance SSH copy command prompt. Now, my key has been downloaded in in which particular folder it has been in downloads. So, what I will be doing is I will be changing my directory to downloads cd downloads in the downloads I can run this particular command demo roll dot pem. Yes, I authenticate now had been connected to my EC2 instance over here I want to just uh, check whether uh, what buckets are there in my S3. So, a simple command AWS S3 list all the buckets uh, in a S3. So, it is been giving me an error saying that uh, we cannot find the credentials you need to configure the credentials. So, instead of configuring the credentials what we can do is we can create a role. So, how to create a role? Go to your IAM, click on roles, click on create role, AWS service, select the service that is EC2 service wants needs to talk with which particular service. I want to provide S3. and which type of uh, permission you want to give full access permission. Click on next and what is the role name over here? I can have uh, demo role then click on create. Now, EC2 has been given a role where he can speak with our S3 bucket. Let us go back AWS S3 LS still it is giving a problem you had created a role, but uh, you need to manage the policy. Uh, how could we manage the policy? Just uh, we will see. So, it is uh, been giving again error we had created a role, but we had not uh, attached that role to our EC2. So, how to attach that? Just select the EC2 instance, get into actions, just uh, expand the security, modify IAM role and which role we had created over here? It is demo role and click on update IAM. Now, you had attached your role which you had created to your instance. Now, if you are going to hit this, then you can see this time there is no error. If you are getting into S3 and creating a bucket, create a bucket where I am naming my bucket as uh, 3rd May. 2024 mm, demo role ACL's permission block access remove it I acknowledge and click on create bucket. Now, this bucket has been created let us get back over here just check whether it is listing your bucket or not. Yes, it is listing your bucket. So, that is it how a role will be used between two services that we had a demo from this session that is it. Thank you.